In this Webflow tutorial, I want to explain how you can round out your website with an error 404 page. So this first example website is apple.com. This is what the error 404 page looks like. In YouTube, this is what it looks like right here. In Google, this is what it looks like right here. And in Webflow, the native default error 404 page looks like this. So what is an error 404 page? Well, essentially, it is a page that doesn't exist. And because it doesn't exist, it needs to display something on the screen. So this isn't necessarily compulsory to have on your website, but it's just a nice touch that you should do in order to round out your website. So let's go ahead and take a look at this website right here, dereksu.com.au. If I type in slash and just put some random URL that doesn't exist in this website, it'll take you to an error 404 page. In this specific example, you can tell that the person who made this website is having fun with the error 404 page, like you have escaped the matrix. So you can do a lot of these like hidden Easter eggs, you can make it fun, but it is nice to have rather than having a default one that looks like this. The problem with this one here is that it doesn't have a button that takes you back to the home page in case you do land on this page. Before we jump into Webflow and, and for me to show you how to do this, it's very important to note that an error 404 page really happens a lot especially if your website has a CMS, let's just say, for example, a blog post. And let's just say, for example, your client goes into the blog post and perhaps they just change the slug of the blog post, therefore it becomes broken. Or it also happens when people start to make redirect links. Let's say, for example, if they hit, if they go on this specific URL, it redirects them to another URL and the URL that's being redirected might be expired. So that's very common of how error 404 pages happen. But let's go ahead and go to Webflow. And you'll notice in Webflow, you have pages right here. I just have a bunch of pages. These are like my previous tutorials. But if I scroll all the way down, you can see there's a page called Utility Pages. That's when you can hit error 404 or 404. And that's where it takes you to this page. And this is what it looks like, this page not found. And you can go ahead and just delete everything. And you can go ahead and just custom code everything. So for example, you can put a div block, you can make this div block called container. Then you can go ahead and put a heading one. And then you can center this by putting this into the center. So just typical coding and say error 404. And then you can go ahead and put a button. And you can put the button that says back to home page. And then make sure you link the button, the settings to go to the home page like so. And then once you publish this, that is the error 404 page done it would automatically redirect to this page. And I suggest to have some sort of button that redirects them back to the home page. But that's essentially it. You can put whatever you want. You can put background video, you can make a whole page, you can make a whole running joke out of it. You can put the logo and all that stuff, but that's how you do an error 404 page. If you found this video helpful, please check out my website, derricksu.com.au slash value. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.